Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and I didn't film last week. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, let me see if I can fix this. I might make it worse. Oh gosh, maybe I should start wearing makeup. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't film last week. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed the people who were expecting me to film. <laughs> uh, I don't have a good excuse other than I have a toddler, a two-year-old, and he's been kind of crazy lately. But that's about my excuse. <laughs> um, I look horrible right now. That lighting makes my face look really not good. <laughs> I'm trying to fix that. Oh well, we'll do with it. My hair is in a ponytail. I just worked out a little bit. I gotta work out some more later. Um, I'll get into that stuff later. First, I want to say we hit 1,000 subscribers. Did I say that last time? I think I said that last time. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, we'll celebrate again. Yay! <laughs> a thousand subscribers. Um, I have a lot of energy right now. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'll talk about that later too, because it's weird. I haven't had like caffeine in a while. But um, anyways, welcome to all the new people. Uh, and welcome back to all the original people, but for the new people, um, you would have seen, I think I recently put out a, a giveaway post, a Nick Crate review. Excuse me, I just drank a bunch of water. Um, a Nick Crate review and giveaway and a, just today, today's Thursday, you're watching this on a Friday, but, um, I put out a Ravelry tutorial about wish lists, which I had one previously, and then I was told by somebody that with the newer um, accounts, since I updated it, it's done differently because I have an old account. My Ravelry account, Ravelry account, is I created it in 2011, I think. It's pretty old. <laughs> uh, so mine was set in the old ways, but now there's a new way of doing some stuff. So I rebooted, I deleted that old video, and I, I filmed a new one, and it's up now. I'll link it above if I can remember. <laughs> if not, it is, it's the video before this one. But, um, I forgot where I was going. Oh yeah, if you're new, that's the videos you would have seen. But I do do, <laughs> I also do, um, a weekly, um, show and tell, I guess, usually. I try to put it out on Friday mornings, but sometimes I get busy and it's Friday evenings or sometimes Saturday. <laughs> but, uh, usually a weekly, um, like show and tell of the stuff that I'm working on and all that stuff just like everybody else does and then I do try to do some uh, Ravelry tutorials or crochet chats and um, knit crate videos whatever throughout the week and I'm mo wanting to start doing pattern tutorials uh, I'm hoping to film one soon Ho maybe even tonight I don't know <laughs> I meant to film it last Saturday but we ended up being super busy so uh, I'll film it when it gets filmed and it'll be up when it gets up I guess <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this week um, I'm kind of glad I didn't film last week because I didn't have any finished objects and hardly any work on my whips just because of being really busy with Jesse um, he has gone crazy since his birthday <laughs> he is really um that's my it <laughs> my babies um, I'm trying to declutter and move stuff around so there's a bunch of totes out there and that box is donate stuff but um anyways uh what was i saying he went crazy since his birthday and um it's hard to deal with <laughs> but we're gonna get into the crochet stuff this week i have two finished objects and two whips and i'm trying not to start any more whips until i finish the two that i'm working on and then i'm going to try to be more what's the word monot monot mon oh i hear it in my head Monop, monop, why can't I say it? I can hear it in my head. Mon I'm gonna try to stick to doing like one or two things at a time instead of a thousand whips. Erin says it all the time monotony, but monot monotonous, monotonous. I can't say it. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But we'll get into um, this one right here. It's, oh, it's not the right foot. This foot. <laughs> it's super snappy. Let me pull her shirt down. Her sweater kind of fits weird. I finished her clothes finally. I didn't do the flowers just because I'm not like a girly girl, so I didn't think she needed flowers. I think a purple sweater is good enough. And I, as you notice, I didn't do her pigtails just because I didn't want to. I was lazy. I didn't want to deal with it. I do still have to stitch her head up here because for some reason these stitches up here are really loose. So I want to get some more this yarn. I have a little bit left and uh, just like whip stitch it shut good. But she's done. Let me kind of... She is ginormous. There's her skirt. Ah! Her skirt. And she's got 
purple underwear, but you know, it's her body. Uh, I feel like I put her arms in the wrong place so her sweater keeps coming up. And I think I should have, <laughs> I should have worked on it a little bit more. But I'm just entering this in the fair so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just stretch it a little bit. But yeah, I made her in a light purple sweater and a dark purple skirt to match her underwear. And I finished her shoestrings and her skirt does have like a, a bow on the back of it, but it's not like a fancy bow or nothing. Ooh, I think the clouds just moved. <laughs> but yeah, I love her. She's ginormous. Jesse keeps wanting to get her, but I don't want him to play with her just yet because I'm afraid he'll mess up her hair or something uh, before the fair. Our fair, our county fair is in September. It's usually, oh, I was going to look for my phone and I'm filming on it. It's usually the first um, week of September. Last year it started on the 2nd, so I'm not sure what day it'll start on this year. Probably the 1st of September. Um, and the week before that, the Sunday before that, is when you go and take all your stuff that you're entering into the uh, exhibits. So I'll be taking her the last week of August, yeah, August, which is Devin's birthday week also, um, to leave her there. I was so nervous the first time I did that, leave my stuff there. But it all came back fine. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking her. She's big. She's probably like almost three feet tall. Two and a half at least. Um, yeah, I think I didn't do a different color border down here like the pattern calls. I basically just took a lot of shortcuts just to get her done. Because if you've been watching me, I have been working on this doll for a really long time. Like months. I feel like she's real fat. <laughs> but, um... I just really wanted to get her done and get her off of my whip list and uh, yeah, put her in my fair box. So she is done now. She has all her clothes and she's ready to go into the box in the closet. And for now, we'll just set it right here. That's my finished object number one. That is Miss Super Snappy. I guess I need to talk about that. Come back up here, Miss Snappy. She is a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots. Um, I can't remember how much she is. I got her for free using a coupon code and Heidi Yates almost always has coupon codes of either free patterns or a lot of percentage off. And her colors are, her hair is Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte. Her cheeks and her shoe soles are um, Red Heart Super Saver Light Raspberry. Her jacket and her shoes is Red Heart Super Saver Orchid and her the dark purple. Her underwear and her skirt is Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst. And then her skin color is, uh, I love this yarn, Light Peach, because Red Heart doesn't have a good skin color. They have buff, but it's like a darker, like, not darker skin color, but like a duller, does that make sense? Like, this is a bright, happy, you know, goes good with bright color con. And the buff goes, I think it's good for, like, Christmas things with, like, dark reds and stuff. Anyways, and then this, her eyes and her um, mouth is just... Red Heart Super Saver Black, and this is, I just like, um, untwisted it and used a couple of strands. I think two of them. And her shoestrings is just white yarn. Red Heart Super Saver White. Almost always use Red Heart Super Saver for everything. Alright, my next, um, finished object is very ugly. And I warn you, I did not choose these colors for this monkey. The girl that I babysit, I babysit a 10 year old girl, uh, when she's off from school and stuff, you know, summer break, things like that. Uh, she's kind of kin to me in a way, I guess. <laughs> but hi, Kat, if you're watching. She watches these videos. I know she does because she comments every now and then. But um, I'm going to give this to her this weekend. I will probably give this to her before she watches this video. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but this monkey. And Kat, if you're watching, I'm sorry. This is an ugly monkey. <laughs> she wanted a monkey and she picked out the colors. She had my entire stash to choose from. And she picked out three variegated yarns. All by Red Heart. It's Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Cola. Uh, black light and neon stripes. Oh, he's ugly. Be prepared. Oh. <laughs> she wanted his head made out of Red Heart Super Saver neon stripes. His facial stuff and his belly made out of Red Heart Super Saver uh, black light. And his arms and legs she wanted made out of cherry cola. So that's what I did. Uh, and he's interesting. I did mess up the eyes. They should be down here, but it doesn't matter. He was a really simple pattern, really nice pattern. It was kind of written weird. Not weird, but like the increases were done differently than I'm used to doing them. Like normally it's like an even thing around and this one wasn't. But I mean, he's kind of cute in his own special way, but he's also kind of ugly. But if she likes him, that's all that matters. His eyes are like wonky looking on me. 
fix that. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it used up some of my scraps, and yeah, it got me to crochet. I made this pretty super, pretty super, super quickly uh, because I've been telling her for like a month that I was gonna make her a monkey, and she kept asking me, "Have you made a monkey yet?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> so I went ahead, and this past week I started it and finished it. I was just working out pretty much nonstop. I do enjoy making amigurumis. They are my most favorite things to make, and especially larger size ones like this. I do love the little ones too, but for some reason I just really love these larger ones. That's why Mary Smith and Heidi Yates are some of my favorite designers because they make the larger amigurumis. I don't know if they'd still be considered amigurumis. Maybe they're just dolls. I don't know. But yeah, this is the monkey. And it is a free pattern. It is called Jake the Playful Monkey. It is I believe it was a free PDF. I cannot say who it is by because it's uh, it looks like a Spanish name so I'm gonna just it'll be blow because I'm not even gonna attempt to say it I know the last name is Rodriguez but I don't have to say the first name uh, I made it with a G hook and I didn't send the yarn colors he the pattern does have a optional tail but I just didn't want to make it <laughs> I just kind of lazed out because it was like a six um, stitch circle that you'd have to like make for really long and I just don't like those real narrow ones <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, there's my monkey. That's my second and last finished object this week. Um, I was hoping to finish another one. This one right here. Is this the next one? Yes, it is. This is for my sister. She's a big fan of Harry Potter. Ooh. And she did some kind of like online test thingy to figure out what her Patronus is, which if you're not a fan of Harry Potter, it's like kind of like your spirit animal almost it's like when you cast a certain spell that's what comes out is that animal magic thing I don't know I'm not that good at Harry Potter stuff either <laughs> all the pieces out and hers is a fox she got hers she did hers on a random test thing and hers was a fox did I already say that and this is a free pattern she actually sent me a picture of it and a link and I had to go find it because it was like one of those links that leads you to a list of free patterns and you still have to go find the actual one you're looking for. I hate those kind of links. Those are just view links. The ones that they, people just post so that their website gets more views. It's annoying. <laughs> Anyways, um, I was hoping to get this done like yesterday. But, you know, with Jesse and housewife, house mom type things, I kept having to put it down. But I have finished the head not the facial features but the head is done and uh I love, what is this orange color i always forget what this, this is pump or okay it's carrot red heart super saver carrot and red heart super saver white and then i made the ears also carrot and white super cute little ears and they'll eventually be like up there or something <laughs> uh and then this is the snout which which is nose will be like that kind of it'll be cuter once it's together I hope <laughs> uh, and I did start working on his body I started this this morning actually um, he's still attached to yarn but yeah so I got about halfway done I'm actually to the decreases and I'm a little worried because this seems very small compared to the head but I guess the body's just smaller and there are legs and arms that you have to make and it's made in a way that it will sit up I'll pop up a little blah, blah. I will pop up a picture right here of what it's supposed to look like uh, and it is called the sitting fox by I crochet things I'm using my elf hook which has a mouse on it I use this one a lot I guess I like this one but it's cute I mean look at it it's a little mouse it's adorable I love polymer clay hooks, the slim ones, which is this right here. I don't like the ergonomic ones that much because it's kind of uncomfortable for my hands. And I done said the yarns, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to finish that. I might try to finish that tonight. And I want to start working on some more little little amigurumi type things to put in my Etsy store just to try to sell and make extra money. I'm also starting to put project bags in there if you're interested. I actually have two in there listed right now. And I have this one. I made this one. Um, yesterday? I think it was yesterday. And uh, I'm out of white ribbon, so I have to go to the store and buy some ribbon before I can finish the drawstring part. But then uh, once I get the ribbon, I will have that one up too. So if you're interested in my drawstring bags, I have a few listed, and then I'm going to be making some holiday ones soon because I got a lot of Christmas and Halloween fat quarters to use up. Alright, let's put him in there. He's in my. Um, 
Halloween candy bag. I say I use this one a lot because it's always on the top of my pile. I need to like rotate them. <laughs> and then my last whip is uh, part of mine and Mo's um, crochet along the cake walk. I'm not actually participating in it. Like I'm not going to try to win anything because I'm hosting it. <laughs> but I am just going to make something anyways just for the fun of it. Get it up there. And it is in my Christmas bag. My season's greeting bag. So I think I have material to make on one of those. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm using a Karen cake. It's floppy because I'm using it. Uh, this was gifted to me by Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet. And this is Karen Cake. Um, I think it's Rainbow Sprinkles or something like that. And I'm making a market bag. I'm using my bunny hook. I think my sister got me this one. Yeah, she got me this one. It has something. I don't remember why. I haven't worked on this much at all. I worked on it for one day and then I stopped. <laughs> but I just got the bottom of the bag and I just started the the row repeats these rows right here are what's repeated all the way up to you make the straps i may actually have to modify it just a little bit make it shorter because i don't know if one cake is enough to make the whole bag because i think on the uh yarn like description it was a little bit more yardage than a karen cake is so i may have to just make it shorter or i can make it all the way up to around a karen cake and then use a color similar to it to make the handle with or something like that that's probably what i'll do this is a little progress keeper from hannah also this whole thing's from hannah except the hook my sister brought me that but my sister's name is hattie so that's close <laughs> but uh yeah so i think this would be cool i really love the idea of market bags because i like going to the farmer's market and flea markets and yard sales and stuff and i like the idea of having a reusable washable bag that i can carry stuff that i buy and but the problem with most market bags is, and being crochet is it's real stretchy. So I'm afraid that if I like go to the farmer's market and buy, you know, a, a bunch of corn or cucumbers or something, it's going to weigh the bag down and stretch it out. So I'm just going to kind of try it out with this. I usually use, when I go to the farmer's market and stuff, I use reusable shopping bags. Um, but you can't just chuck them in the washer. <laughs> uh, I guess if they were like canvas or something, you could. But... I like the idea of using these because you can just, you know, throw them in the washer if you want to, um, you know, if you get dirt or whatever from the vegetables. <laughs> so I'm going to make this and try it out and if it works good, because it's almost farmer market season here. I mean, they are open uh, some of the days here, but it's just like the leafy greens that grow early. Um, I love cucumbers. Every time I go to farmer's market, I buy like my body weight worth of cucumbers. <laughs> um, so if I, if it works good, I might make more of these. I do have two more Karen cakes. Um, that I want to make something with and I have a bunch of mandala cakes that I need to use uh, and I have a couple sweet rolls. Sweet rolls are actually on sale right now I think from Thursday, Friday, Saturday maybe for $2.99 uh, sweet roll which I wish I lived near a Joanne. The closest one to me is an hour and 13 minute drive because I looked on Google Maps today because I thought that was totally justifiable. My birthday had just passed and Mother's Day is coming up so I thought I could use that as an excuse to go get some because I have two cakes each of gelato pop and silver stripe or something like that and i want to get one more cake of each of those so that i can make a baby blanket out of them just to use them up because right now i just have two cakes of each and you can't really make anything out of that unless you make you know like small things and make a bunch of them so um i was hoping it was gonna be an online sale too but it's not and like they're on sale for 2.99 plus there's a 15 percent off your total purchase including sale items I think um coupon <laughs> so they would come out to like 250 something each after that which I wish that I lived closer to Joanne's I would go and buy some I really just need those two cakes I need one gelato pop and one silver to have enough to make a decent sized baby afghan but that's all right I can get it eventually unless I discontinue it and then I'm just screwed <laughs> but yeah that's my only two whips I want to finish the box hopefully today and what else is it the market bag i can just work on that you know i have until october to finish that <laughs> not that it's gonna take me that long oh, i mean i'm not <laughs> but um yeah and other than that i have been i did go ahead and get all my fabric out i washed it all <laughs> dried it all oops i just hit the table i ironed it all and i cut it all to the sizes that i make my bags and it's all in a box now ready to go um i just have to get some of them I need more liners, like solid color liners for. 
and um, like this one I need ribbon to make the uh, drawstring part but it is all done my lines are getting straighter this bag actually looks really good I have to, and I made this with Jesse here he was like right beside me poking at the sewing machine the whole time so I'm getting better at it <laughs> but yeah this is super cute and I have enough of this material to make another bag just like this and it does have a box bottom. I'm trying to sell them on Etsy for right now for $20. I might actually take it down a little bit to like $15. I don't know. Um, just to make extra money for here. <laughs> uh, I like the idea of, you know, helping contribute to the family. Even, I mean, I know I do, you know, being the caretaker of the home and the child, but, and technically the boyfriend because he, he, um, you know, I feed him and do his laundry and all that fun stuff. He relies on me to wake him up for work and all that stuff. I could totally like you mean to him if I want to see. Water break. Okay. That's all the crochet stuff. I don't have any acquisitions. I technically have one right there. <laughs> it's a really old, like the original mainstays. Like I'd, I'd never seen it before the newer ones came out and then I had heard people talking about how there used to be mainstays, mainstays yarn. That's one of the old ones. And one of my mom's friends knew that I'm a yarn person and she sent it to her <laughs> to give to me. Um, it's just like a, it's really similar to Red Heart Super Saver. Um, what's it called? Petal Pink. It's really similar to that. I'll probably just make some sort of amigurumi out of it. Because it is actually kind of scratchy because it's an uh, older yarn. So I'll probably just make some sort of little pink something out of it just to have sitting around. Um, yeah, but that's all the crochet stuff if you're only interested in that stuff. Uh, the only other things crochet related I have to talk about is the cow. It's still going on. It's going really good. Uh, I have looked, you know, on my Facebook group, obviously, because I get notifications for it. A lot of entries have already been finished and put in there. It's really neat to see all of them. Let me put that pin down so I'm not snapping the lid. And then I went over to uh, Moe's, which is Unseen Strands, uh, what's it called? Ravelry group and snoops around on there a little bit and there's already uh, finished objects over there too. So it's really cool. I can't wait to see how many things have been um, completed by October 14th. If you're interested, it is a cake, it's called Cakewalk and it's, you just make anything you want to make, uh, any kind of craft, you know, knit or crochet or whatever out of cake style yarns. I don't have any <laughs> around, but you know, it can be like Karen cakes or it can be yarn that you've caked up yourself. Uh, with a yarn winder or whatever and um, yeah you just basically it's just to use up your cakes like your your cakes that's piling around I know some people especially like since last year <laughs> cake yarn has like gotten really huge mandala cakes and uh, Karen cakes and sweet rolls and Bernat pops and those German ones I never can remember the name of but are really pretty and really thin um, all those kinds of th yarns got super duper popular last year and uh I think it started with Karen Cakes. Karen Cakes was like one of the first ones that came out that got hugely popular. Uh, probably because of Mikey at the Crochet Crowd. He was always like promoting them because he's like sponsored by them or whatever. But <laughs> um, anyways, it's just a cow to use up your your uh, cakes laying around. And it going, it's going from uh, April 14th to October 14th. And then there will be uh, winners from the crochet, the crochet, from the Facebook group and the Ravelry group, there'll be multiple winners probably um, from each group, so you have chances to win, you know, a lot of, you know, different stuff, but um, that's pretty much everything I have to talk about that is uh, crochet related. I guess I'm going to go on into life stuff if you're interested. If you're not, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, and it's cool that you don't watch this. I don't, you know, I don't watch everybody's whole entire videos all the time either. But for the people who are interested in my life, <laughs> I have, um, uh, I know some of you know it because I started a Facebook group with Randy about Stitch and Fit. And it's um, like a stitcher, any type of stitcher, knit, crochet, embroidery, cross stitch, sewing, blah, 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 etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, support group for getting in shape to, you know, working on your fitness levels. Uh, because I, I don't know about Randy for sure, you know, I don't want to just like be healthy and all that. I want to lose weight and feel better, not just about my own personal image, but like physically feel better when I'm playing with my toddler and stuff. So, um, I started April 25th dieting and exercising and between then and, um, this past Wednesday, what was yesterday? 
what is today today's the 10th so may 9th i had lost uh 7.4 pounds or something like that um but i have been really hungry i am definitely a food addict uh like i i'm used to snacking like especially like chips and stuff and i think with a toddler uh, it's easier for me to do that because he doesn't eat actual meals. He just knickknacks on stuff all day. And when he knickknacks, I do it. And um, so that's one reason. Because I gained all my weight when I got pregnant. <laughs> and uh, I had literally just lost 30 pounds and then found out I was pregnant. And then gained about 54 pounds <laughs> while I was pregnant. And then when I, lost, oh, when I lost him, when I gave birth to him, I immediately lost half of that like at the hospital it was baby and fluids and swelling and all that stuff um but then i kept the other half of it <laughs> since um since he was born and probably added a little bit to it <laughs> but um like i said i was dieting and exercising and all that and i was losing weight but um i'm also i was also starving to death like i was constantly sitting around thinking about food and wanting to just go in the kitchen and stuff my face with food and i know that's probably also like a, a mental thing because i'm definitely a emotional eater and when i'm stressed i eat and you know food has always been my uh my comforter <laughs> comforter um so i'm working on that and then today well this last week i've been researching the heck out of it and today I went grocery shopping for it and today I started trying to switch over to keto lifestyle like keto eating um, because you know I've, I've watched a lot of youtubers one more specifically uh, farmer Mimo. <laughs> I really like her channel I don't even know how I found her I just found her forever ago somehow randomly searching for something but she uh, has started I think a year ago she started keto and she's lost a lot of weight she um, I'm not exactly sure how much but you can tell that she's lost a lot of weight and she's got a lot of energy and she's got a lot of energy anyways she's got um, I think ADHD or something like that she's like super hyper happy person all the time um, and so I'm hoping I'm, I told Devin that I was gonna try it try doing the keto lifestyle for a month because I know it takes a few weeks to get your body into that regimen or whatever and um like the first few weeks could be really hard because your body's adjusting from living off of carbs to living off of fat and that's what you want to do in keto is get your body living off of fat so that then when you go back to eating a lower amount of fat after the first few weeks it eats your body fat your body you know burns your fat for fuel um so i'm gonna try that out um it's gonna be really hard i know because i'm a huge carbo loader <laughs> like uh corn and potatoes and uh chips are like my number one snack foods <laughs> oh there they used to be i haven't had really any of them in two weeks two and a half weeks but um well we're at two weeks so I filled up the kitchen with keto friendly foods and some of it's still not keto friendly because of Jesse and Devin. Like I'm not going to make them change the way they eat just because I want to change the way I eat. And Jesse wouldn't let me anyways because he lives off of chicken nuggets and uh, cheese puffs. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, so that's just an update, a life update for me is that I am trying to get into shape and be healthier and make better choices for myself and eventually Jesse. Uh, I just, it's, it's kind of tough, I ain't gonna lie, but I have seen a little bit of, you know, weight loss. I'm, I'm aware that a lot of that initial weight loss, because in the first week I lost 5.8 pounds. I know a lot of that was probably bloating, because before I started e eating better and exercising, I felt bloated all the time. Like, you could ask Devin, I was just always complaining about, oh, I just feel bloated and blah, you know, just blah. And since eating better, even for that first week, I, um, and dropping sodas, uh, almost all of it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I have had a couple since then, and today I actually have a Diet Coke, or Pepsi, because I'm a Pepsi person, not a Coke person. But, um, because they don't have any carbs in them. But I know also that they're bad because of the fake sugars. But I'm just having this one. And I got some bubbly water that's supposed to be better. And it's, it gives you like the feel of drinking a soda. But it's water. Uh, anyways. Uh, I feel a lot better already. Like my body doesn't feel. I don't feel bloated at all. I haven't had any like gas issues. <laughs> uh, it might be a little TMI. But I used to be like really bloated and gassy all the time. And I know it was because of the, the junk I was eating. Um, 
and I'm hoping that that stays that way. <laughs> I'm hoping that keto helps. I'm a little worried because keto is uh, like a high fat, low carb um, diet. And like your whole dieting life, they tell you, you know, low fat everything, don't eat fat, blah, blah, blah. But now this is telling me I eat fat, throw butter on that bacon and eat it. <laughs> so I'm a little worried that like I might gain weight the first little while of trying it. I don't know. I just have to wait and see. And I know, I know you still have to stay under your calories, which I got it on my app. But you're supposed to, you know, stick to your, what are they called? Macros? Something like that. I got it all on my app, so it's helping me. But uh, I'm just a little worried that it's going to have the opposite effect on me. And I'm going to end up gaining weight from eating all this fatty food. Um, even if it is healthy or fats or whatever. But... I don't know, we shall, we, shall, we shall see, and I guess you will see, <laughs> uh, in my face or something, I don't know, but yeah, uh, yes, Wednesdays is my weigh-in days, if you're interested in the Stitch and Fit group, I will link it below, um, me and Randy both run it, uh, like co, what is that word, admins or whatever, um, so it's just a support group, you know, there's no hate, no products, We're, no one's selling anybody anything, and if someone does, I'm going to delete them and block them, because that's not what we want, that's not our goal for the group, our goal for the group is to just be supportive of each other's own choices, even if it's totally different diets, you know, um, just support each other in weight loss and fitness, in general fitness, because it's not just a weight loss group, you know, there may be someone who's at their goal weight but wants to tone up or just whatever any type of fitness goals you have uh so if you're interested it'll be linked below and yeah <laughs> but i think that's about everything i don't have any other major life updates to talk about i don't think <laughs> other than jesse's driving me crazy but i think that's normal for a toddler so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because i gotta deal with a bunch of stuff i've been cleaning jesse's at my mom's i keep feeling like i'm gonna burp because i'm drinking so much water excuse me <laughs> um, I'm gonna get this edited and uploading and I'm hope hopefully gonna be able to film some more videos tonight since Jesse's gone I'd like to film a crochet and chat and maybe start working on that tutorial but I still don't have a right the right kind of tripod to film it I would have to rig up a thing I mean right now you're sitting on a diaper box with a, I think a baby watts holding you up so <laughs> I'm, I might be able to figure something out to get a downward view for a pattern but yeah I think that's about everything, and I will see you guys pretty soon, hopefully. Um, all the links are below. Uh, my Instagram, my Ravelry, my Ravelry group. It's not very active at all, like at all. My Facebook group, and now the Stitch and Fit group will all be down below. And I will also link my Etsy store if you're interested in a drawstring bag. Um, I will be making more of those pretty soon, as soon as I can get to the store again and buy some ribbons and some, uh, what's it called? Liner. Uh, I don't remember that at all. Fat quarters. <laughs> because I'm almost out of like solid colors. All my other materials printed. I think this is so pretty. But I'm going to have two of these soon. But one really soon. Because that one's already done. I just need to put the drawstrings in it. But yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Which will hopefully be really soon. If not, it'll be for sure next Friday. Well, I better not say for sure. Because I didn't do it last Friday. I'll see you in the next video whenever it comes out. Bye guys.